Okay, hello. Uh, thank you for coming to this presentation. Uh, it's, I'll be discussing what we can do to help Joomla get better. And we should all be looking for ways to help Joomla get better. And there are so much we could do in so many different uh, directions that you know there's no real excuse. <laughs> Let somebody else do it. We should always help. So, my name is Nicholas Antimisiaris. Those of you who cannot uh, pronounce, doesn't matter, just Nick. Uh, on the forums, I'm known as NAND, N-I-N-T, both on the Joomla forums and on uh, Joomlapolis, community builder. I'm on that community builder team. I love Joomla. I mean, the whole community of Joomlapolis loves Joomla. And we have been sponsoring, actually, G and Beyond for the fifth year now. And we believe in sharing the knowledge, sharing the love. And that's why we're focusing, basically, on helping people who cannot, who are not fortunate enough to be able to attend in person every year. So we're actually doing the video sponsoring. So this presentation, along with every presentation, will be online. And for people either in this room that wanted to see some other presentation in another room, like I do <laughs> right now, <laughs> or uh, uh, people who cannot, could not attend this year for various reasons, they could actually share uh, the excitement offline. Okay, so we should, this presentation is about, again, something we can do to help make Joomla better, okay? Uh, and I'm basically focusing on two things, you know. One is the title of the presentation, which is how we could actually help make Joomla better to be used for documentation projects, okay? I mean, Joomla, support, we'll see Joomla is a content management system. Well, documentation is content. So we should be able to use Joomla for that. Just as a reminder, there's an online forum for people or projects or users that would like to participate or follow the progress. Uh, it's just a six or seven question forum in, on Google where you basically express the, your documentation need and what you feel is missing, or you just, uh, uh, you just uh, enter your information just to be informed of new anything new that's coming up for this project. So I'll be repeating this link again, so there's no reason to uh, type it down right now. So a short agenda. Basically, um, the real motivation behind this presentation is, again, to help make Joomla better. And we have to decide what it is that makes Joomla better. I mean, what does better mean for Joomla? What, uh, what does Joomla mean for Joomla? And how we would go about using Joomla for documentation projects. Okay. And then I'll be going into some work in progress that we're doing I'm personally doing on Joomlapolis to try to transfer our existing documentation into an online version for Joomla. Okay, so the motivation again, repeating it, because this is what I really want everybody to leave this room with. You know, we have to find ways to make Joomla better <coughs> for ourselves, first of all, and for others. Okay, and there are various things we could do. But first of all, we should stop and think, what is, what is Joomla, really? What, it, what is it? I mean, uh, if you read the Joomla org site, you'll see that Joomla is uh, self-positioned as a content management system, CMS. Uh, they're very keen to saying it's open source, GPL free. And if you dig down a little deeper, you see that there's some technology that takes place that we need to be aware of. But from the Joomla org site, it's very important to see how Joomla is actually positioning itself. So when you go to joomla.org, the first thing you'll see about Joomla is 
to this statement. Joomla is an award-winning content management system, CMS, which enables you to build websites and powerful online applications. Okay. Now, I'll be comparing this statement with some competitor statements. So we'll see how we can improve in that area also, in the marketing area, and how we push Joomla to people who do not know about Joomla. So I, I did some research basically looking at uh, online sites. I, I didn't try to evaluate what's correct, what's not. I just picked one or two sites I found. And uh, I'm looking at the CMS market. And you'll see like in this particular slide, uh, WordPress appears to be first, Joomla appears to be second, followed by Drupal and other uh, <coughs> and other CMS systems. Again, I'm not saying this is correct. I'm saying this is publicly available. So if it's not correct, and if we feel it's not correct, then we as a project should do something about this. If it is correct, we should understand it and try to become better. Okay. We cannot ignore it. Okay. So let's get back to how the competition defines itself. These are the three statements here taken from the first three uh, CMSs in that the previous slide. So basically repeating what I told you before about Joomla. Joomla is an award-winning content management system which enables you to build websites and so on. WordPress, which is supposedly number one, has a nice two-line statement saying, WordPress is web software. Okay, it's a lot easier to understand that award-winning content management system <laughs> that is used to create beautiful websites or blog. Again, that's very clear for the first-time person looking to do what? He understands beautiful website a lot better than content management system that creates powerful applications. I mean, it's a lot more clear and focused. So this is something I'm sure the marketing team is already looking into because I talked with uh, Jessica and she's well aware and I think they're on a good, in a good, on a good track. But again, I'm just focusing on what we can do to make things better. If, if we don't toot our own horn the right way, it's not gonna help people come on board. Drupal is even, uh, from <coughs> in my opinion, even more <laughs> cryptic. And uh, it, they have a nice tagline saying, come for the software, stay for the community. I mean, I don't know what that is. <laughs> see, I mean, uh, this is how the competition defines itself. So we see WordPress, which is supposedly number one. Again, I'm not endorsing that it is number one. Or I'm not questioning it. I mean, I'm saying that's what's freely available, publicly available, uh, has a nice two-line statement, very clear. I mean, they don't throw open source in your face, but they do say free and priceless, which is very smart because the end user doesn't know what open source is or free as in beer or free as in beer uh, and freedom. They know free, no cost, whatever. But the priceless is also a nice addition saying, you know, you can get a free, a peanut could be free, whatever, but this is not only free, but it's priceless. You cannot really uh, come down and say how much it would cost. So I'm just saying this is a very important aspect for the project to look at. So <coughs> I looked at some public trends, and again, I'm not endorsing things. I'm just saying that this is public information. And if we as a project think some th something is wrong with this information, we should either rebuttal it, refute it, publish our own. Because I showed this to Jessica and there were some graphs that showed Joomla dipping a lot. You know, and she had an explanation for that. Well, I said, if, if you have an explanation for that, we should either bring it up to the site that's publishing this, that you know, you're doing things wrong. You are basing this trend of Joomla uh, publishing the version that we hid for security reasons later on, and you, you saw a dip. Well, if this is the case, we should actually publicize this. And maybe we should even have our own stats. And I think there's a, next, a session follow, following this one that Jessica is gonna be presenting Joomla numbers. This is, this is good. We should actually 
be presenting these numbers publicly so people have something else to look at. So these are just some stats showing some trends. Uh, Drupal supposedly is doing a lot better at the enterprise level, uh, and WordPress is doing a lot better at the end user level. And I could, I could probably see the, the WordPress one because it's, it's, it's an older, more popular uh, piece of software. And looking at the marketing statement, it's a lot more clean, cleaner for a first time user to understand what's happening. So these are just some usage trends for WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. I mean, you see basically there are three charts, three lines showing the adaption at the enterprise level, the top 1,000 sites, the top 100,000 sites, and the entire internet. So again, I'm not endorsing anything even if you agree or disagree, as Brian Tiemann likes to say, I mean, these are publicly available. Now, if these are not, if these are real stats, justified stats or not, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, they're out there. And we have to either say, yeah, they're out there, we have to live with this, or, you know, that's garbage, that's crap, this is the right thing, this is wrong because of ABC. So Juma Marketing is aware of these things, and they'll be addressing them. Now let's switch a little. Uh, this is a nice statement I got from John Coonan, who is uh, in charge of the CMS Connection site. You might have heard of him. But he basically positioned the three CMSs with these three bullets, saying that WordPress is targeting the end users. Joomla seems to be targeting users of third-party plugins and extensions. I know Joomla does have a very popular third-party extension uh, community, and perhaps that is to a certain degree justified that a lot of these third-party uh, applications are actually bringing in new Joomla users because they're identifying specific niches that users are uh, keying off. And Drupal is supposedly better for developers and digital agencies. Again, this is his statement, but I'm just saying how somebody else which is a little more independent from Joomla, is viewing the three CMSs. Now, the, the niche market part is important, I think, in terms of marketing. I mean, uh, WordPress traditionally started out as a blog, got everybody hooked, and is offering nice other things, you know, in parallel. <coughs> uh, what is the niche market of Joomla? I mean, it's a content management system. Uh, I know there's a big push for K2 powered news sites. K2 is the nice extension for uh, content management. So it basically replaces what Joomla is supposed to do. So maybe Joomla is not doing things that right for content management, at least for news content. Maybe we can improve that also. But it's, it's not a bad idea to actually present and package Joomla for specific uh, user applications or, or use, use cases. Actually, it's very smart. I mean, it's very, it's very good. You can target individual communities better, and it'll only help increase the popularity of Joomla. Uh, another thing that is being pushed to a certain degree is that Joomla has a CLI framework, whatever that is, platform or whatever, you know, that you can actually build applications and execute them at a command line interface. Uh, but we really need, in my opinion, more m niche market exposure. I mean, try to push Joomla uh, and show that Joomla is able to do m nice things in specific areas. One of these areas, in my mind, is documentation sites. Joomla is self-proclaimed as a content management system, okay? And documentation is content. Right? Why shouldn't Joomla be used for documentation? What's missing? What could be improved? How many people here have actually uh, websites that publish some kind of documentation? Okay, well, third. How many people are using Joomla for that? You guys good, great. 
Uh, but most, most extension, a, lo a lot of extension developers are looking for something else. They're not using Joomla for the documentation. I mean, I'll, I'll even go further than that. I mean, uh, ask yourself, you know, how many Joomla projects actually use Joomla? We didn't. Com community Builder and Joomlapolis hasn't been using it. And I'll, I'll go through that, you know, the history. But you should ask yourself, why, I, why am I not using it? What do I feel is missing? What should be, what, what improvement would actually help me make a decision to go that way? Or even better, I mean, why doesn't Joomla use Joomla for its online documentation? It has a wiki there. Okay, maybe at some point that was justified because there wasn't any version control, any history, but now we have those things in Joomla. And a little off topic, why isn't Joomla using something native to Joomla for forms? I mean, granted, maybe it's not top notch, but it's not gonna get better if we don't use it. I mean, we should start eating our own dog food, <laughs> as, as people say. I mean, uh, so again, this is something we can do as a community, as users, we could at least ask ourselves, why am I not using this? What improvements can I uh, expect or do I require in order to make me or help me make a decision to use it? Publish this information, try to get people to agree with you, try to help create these things. That's something we can do for Joomla. Now let me just give a little bit about, about uh, our experience. I mean, we started out, actually we're still there at, at this point, with uh, Microsoft Word for documentation. Uh, the pros was easy to create good looking content, you know, what you see, what you get was okay. Uh, the, the cons, if you know, have a manual release process, <laughs> every time you want to release a new document, you have to go through a, a process there, a manual process. Versioning <coughs> is not that cool. Revi it ha you know, Word has revision marks and all these checks, but it's not really <coughs> something that uh, helps you, to be honest. Uh, we also had some online tutorials, which actually were Joomla articles. They were easy to create with a good uh, editor, the JCE. If you use the native editors, you might have a little issues with image manipulation and resizing and things like that. The JCE is a little better. Uh, cons at the time, there was no versioning. It was prior to the 3.2 version. There's no commenting. I still think that's that's a con that's a that's bad. I mean, when you present any type of online content, you need to have feedback, either good or bad, or improvements or something. I mean, and that feedback is best organized as a comment under the actual content, <coughs> and that's missing in my mind. I mean, J Joomla should have had something built in. Of course, you can find third-party extension does the, good, does the job, so that's, uh, that's good. That's a nice alternative. So we, we started and thought, you know, let's make a long list of, you know, anything imaginable that if it was there, we'd say there's no reason not to go for Joomla. And we made this list, you know, like we wanted something online. We wanted to be able maybe to have some things behind a paywall, looking at the commercial part, you know, versioning, Source control, I mean, it would be cool to be able to actually push uh, an article, HTML of the article back to uh, Git and grab it from there. Why not? I mean, then you have versioning built in with source control and you have a release process in place. It would be very cool. Uh, commenting and tagging was on the list. Tagging exists now. Be being able to do referencing and cross-referencing. It's a nice feature that's useful for online documentation. Uh, PDF generation, I mean, it's nice to have something online, but somebody might really want to download and look at it offline. Uh, we thought about collaboration and multiple authoring, you know, I mean for Joomlapolis basically I'm doing this more or less by myself, but if we want to open up to others to help, we need to have some kind of mechanism for 
collaboration and workflows for approvals and so on. Uh, and if we go international localization, we want to be able to clone content and allow a French user to go ahead and start translating, or a German user to go ahead and start translating. Again, this is supposedly doable now that Joomla supports uh, multi-language a lot better. But it might be a challenge to actually get it to work the way you want it. So if you don't go through the process, you won't be able to identify shortcomings and propose improvements. A table of contents is important in my mind. Uh, glossary is very important. Uh, so people could find out specific terms and see where it's referenced right away. Flexible layouts. I mean, traditionally, when you look at online documentation, you see a, a left column that has you know, a drill down of everything, uh, like a tree structure, and you just select what you want and you see the content, and you know where you are, and you know how to go up, and you know how to continue. So in my mind, I would like to see something similar with Joomla. And there might be some third-party extensions that help you do that, but it's not easy to do from built-in functionality. Social sharing is important. I mean, if you have online anything, you want to take advantage of this. Uh, the social networks that are out there. Again, that, uh, you probably have to go with a third-party extension. Would be cool for Joomla to be able to support that in-house also. <coughs> Next step was to look at what's out there. So there are a lot of wiki-based solutions that we looked at. <coughs> I'm listing some other uh, open source solutions there. Uh, from this list, the closest I personally liked was Confluence because it had, it had a nice built-in, the layout was nice, the documentation layout seemed nice, it had commenting built-in, it had collaboration, what pieces were there. But it's not open source and it's not Joomla. <laughs> so it, it actually appears that there isn't a de facto documentation <coughs> solution for projects, for documentation projects, which I think is lacking, or maybe it's, a, maybe it's a nice opportunity, uh, and why not take advantage of it? So the, we made a strategic decision, basically, to use Joomla for our documentation projects. We'll start out with what Joomla has right now. We'll identify what's missing, the nice to have, prioritize, help fill in the gaps, either by contributing uh, code, developing code, or pushing for improvements in Joomla, or pushing for new extensions, so on. So the idea is, uh, behind this uh, presentation, is to be able to form uh, an internal group of users, Joomla people, that are going to try to make Joomla the solution for documentation. And I don't think there's any reason why we can't make it work. So looking at my short list, I just have a, uh, the must-have feature and the initial Joomla functionality. I mean, we need a good editor, default editor, or even better, JC will probably do the job. Online presentation, well, you have the article layout as a starting point in Joomla. You might be able to improve that if needed. There are template overrides you can work with and, uh, and so on. Uh, flexible menu generation. I think you might have to look at a third party for that, being able to basically generate a menu of articles based on a category tree. It's kind of important, so you have all your documentation under a specific category, which is layered to you know tree level, and you just click a button and it'll create menus for all these articles, which is cool. Um, the PDF generation, it was there. It's not there anymore in Joomla, so we'll probably have to do something with uh, third-party extensions. Uh, table of contents, you might want to use category listings for that. Might need improvement also. Versioning, there is article versioning right now. Uh, if we don't try it, I don't know what's missing. So it's a good idea to start trying that. Uh, paywall, there are a lot of solutions. I mean, we are going to be using CB subs internally that already has the ability to protect any Joomla content, so that's okay. Tagging, 
few Joomla tags to be able to uh, group similar related articles together so people could basically reference the tag to see other things that are fall in the same general category. Commenting, we have to stick with third party solutions for now. Social sharing, the same thing. Cross referencing, maybe Joomla tags could be used for that. Maybe not. So, and then we have a list of high priority, <coughs> uh, nice to have uh, collaboration since initially I'm actually working on this by my own, I mean by myself. There's no big need for collaboration for me, but it's, it's another priority here. Uh, localization is important. So collaboration you could probably do with some nice uh, Joomla ACL configurations to see who has the ability and the privilege to do what. Same thing for localization. And you can use the Joomla ACL uh, along with the Joomla language support to be able to say who's in charge of which language for the documentation. Uh, exporting to other formats would be cool. I mean, of course, PDF is one format. It would be cool to be, ex to be able to export uh, to some uh, XML-based format. Not very high priority, but it's, it's, it's on the table of figures or table of contents. It's another issue we should look at, the glossary. So you see some things have question marks. Question marks means basically there's some research to be done, first of all, in the third party community, see if there's something that halfway there or even all the way there. If there's not, uh, be able to form some kind of high level specification, make that public, see if anybody is willing to take that as an opportunity to develop something. Uh, maybe if people Agree, we can co-fund something together, push it back to Joomla. There's lots of things we can do. Yes. And Sorry. Um, search. Searching. searching, right, that's missing. See, one of the reasons I brought up this form is so people could actually get in there and put their high priority things. But you're right, searching is pretty high on the list. Um, so work in progress, what I've, what I've been doing basically, I've been starting out with Joomla 3.3 now, I upgraded, and I created uh, a category tree for my documentation. I actually included the uh, language specific categories just as placeholders for now. It's not that important at this point, but I figured if I'm gonna structure it, let me structure it more or less correctly from the beginning. And then I have basically a tree for each. There's a, there's a community builder documentation and there's a tree of subcategories there which has each subcategory has articles that refer to that category and so on. So I went through the category construction which is quite a big deal. <laughs> you can imagine. Yes. That would be good, yeah. And I went to the articles, so we see that for the introduction category, <coughs> I have a list of articles. Again, this is standard Joomla. I'm, I'm trying to go through the process. <laughs> uh, and now this is where things are kind of funky. I mean, if you start looking at how this content is actually displayed in Joomla, you'll see the subcategory uh, list on the left will show you how many articles are published in each subcategory. If I click on the introduction, for example, I'll see the five articles to the right where it says documentation testing. Uh, it's not the traditional left menu drill down, okay? So that kind of needs some improvement in my mind because uh, people will probably get lost going drilling down without, without, a, without a being able to see where they are in the 
in the whole map of the documentation. And <coughs> I'm also experimenting with third-party extensions. Uh, the one extension that I looked at that looked promising was the POCA documentation. And the nice part about that is you can basically create a menu item to the top level category and you'll see there's little category boxes. And then you can drill down, there's a most used document. You know. it, it takes you a, a step better, I think, than Joomla. It works off the Joomla content uh, storage, means I'm not losing anything. <laughs> I'm still keying off of the work I've done through the Joomla categories and Joomla articles. Uh, again, it doesn't, it's not, it's still using that drill down, uh, which I don't like. I think it should be, again, a nice tree menu on the left that people could see where they are in the tree and see the actual content on the, on the right. Perhaps for each content element, you might have upsells if needed or related information and so on. Right, lots of positions, yeah. No, it's just, just the category overview. When the module position on top or on the left, you have a longer style that starts and then you start uh, taking. I, y y yeah. I, there's something missing, but no, that's. Yeah. And we have to identify it and push to make it work. So, again, this is POCA. So you see, if you click on the introduction, you'll see a nice list of items there and you can go up and down and so on. There are other things. I've been experimenting with other menu uh, creation modules and so on, and I'll keep on experimenting and be posting uh, feedback. And I'd like to basically uh, move forward uh, by forming this internal informal team of users. And so I would hope I'm hoping everybody here that's interested that you know, just signs up and shares their experience. I mean, in terms of, yeah, I'm using it, or I tried to use it, and I got stuck here because this was missing, and try to pull together as an internal group to help each other and help Joomla. So the idea is to form this team, which is an, a growing, non-growing expanding team, there's no, it's not going to be locked, of course, ever. Uh, try to identify, if possible, what's out there that can be used. I mean, the Joomla third party uh, add-ons that could be used to fill in the gaps. Uh, if we cannot find something, we'll at least identify some specifications needed, make those public, uh, and start working to fill in the gaps. I think it's, uh, <coughs> it's a nice way forward. It's a nice way of giving back to Joomla. Uh, and, I, and we could actually think uh, of other niche areas that maybe each, maybe a personal interest. For example, I'm, uh, I like the genealogy a lot. Let's see how we can have Joomla basically be able to handle content based on uh, a family tree. There are applications for that, of, of course, but I'm just saying, you know, if you don't, if you're not keen on documentation, but you're very keen on some other content area, think about helping Joomla address that area better. I mean, this is something, again, we can all do to help. So let's work together. I mean, this is the form. Uh, it's, I'll show the URL again, but it's basically some very, very simple questions. I mean, what's your, level of involvement, are you already part of a documentation team? So very simple. If you've used other documentation, maybe just give us a hint. What's there, this way it's easy to kind of figure out features you have that might be missing in Joomla. Uh, if you're interested in specific format for presentation, so if there are any XML uh, structured format categories you're interested in. And basically, uh, tell me exactly what you feel is missing, searching. <laughs> it might be one thing. 
better searching, smart searching, related item searching, whatever. Uh, and just fill in your name, email, and how you could help. So <coughs> the next steps, if possible, I'd love everybody to it's a five minute task to fill in the form, if you're interested, of course. Yeah. Uh, maybe notify others that you know of. I mean, I'll be, uh, I've already tweeted about this. I'll probably do something more. And I'll make sure everybody that signs up is on a common mailing list so we could share information together. Maybe we can create a, a Skype chat at some point. I feel it's a lot easier to push that way. Uh, try to collect a list of existing third party extensions that fill in the gaps and identify improvements in Joomla if needed. I mean, there are some improvements that are needed in Joomla, for example. And keep giving feedback. I would love to have a, a couple of articles in the magazine and uh, try to gather momentum and help Joomla improve in this specific content area. I mean, the more niche use cases we actually present as a project that we're able to support, the better Joomla will do as a whole. And I mean, of course, improve marketing in parallel. I mean, try to be a little more clear about what Joomla is rather than its generic content management system. I mean, went through pretty fast because I think uh, I'm okay. Uh, so again, thank you very much. Uh, link to the forum and I also have the slides uploaded. Uh, thank you for coming. Hopefully we could actually form a nice team from this group and help Joomla move forward because the, the topic of Jay and Beyond this year is investing in our future. We wouldn't be here if we didn't believe that Joomla is our future or is a big part of our future. So let's help shape it. Thank you very much. Thank you.